takes that long to get it going. everybody a very warm good morning to you and uh, this is the ninth year of the Blackwood model Blackbush model air show it's a very beautiful day ahead of us guys for the weather forecast well, we don't want to uh, we don't we don't attempt fate but the weather forecast is looking really favorable here the weather is looking great as well no real major crosswinds the runway is uh, the, runway, oh, the wind socks slightly changed that was right down the runway so a little bit of sort of right to left crosswind but nothing that these guys can't manage the first slide of the day of course if you look on the flight line you can't uh, you can't help but miss or see this thing because that's steve holland quite the uh, beautiful scale that's the uh the arrow cut it's probably about a third size is it <laughs> huge thing. so just before the uh demonstration first up that we've got a full program of events here for you and Blackbush so if you have just joined us a very warm welcome to you thank you very much for signing up it's good to see you all thank you very much and uh, so we've got a full program of events full program of flying for you uh, to keep you entertained throughout the entire day we've got helicopters we've got fixed wing we've got gliders we've got jets we've got 3d we've got the whole spectrum of RC of uh, RC machines for you and your enjoyment here today guys so uh, sit back relax and enjoy the show
Right, so one of the pilots uh, got about a 10 minute slot if they uh, choose to use it all. Some of the, uh, some of the machines, the fuel tanks are capable of running 10 minutes, so uh, they have to split the time up between teams. But uh, there's enough uh, time for everyone to give a, a really good demonstration of the capabilities of the machines they're flying. We're just sitting back and relaxing, enjoying this one at the moment. Look at that. A nice talk roll there. Beautiful demonstration from Steve. Very difficult to keep that machine uh, at that sort of knife edge. Look at that. Fantastic controls there by Steve Holland. Knife edge. That's a proper knife edge from my plane. Awesome demo. Great stuff. Using the feeding the rudder in as is doing the barrel roll, very nice tight and uh, symmetrical turns out into a climber into the invert. It's going to do a low pass inverted using the rudder just to. Keep the wings in a straight line. Look at that. Very nice. Take a Foxtrot. Oh, he's got Look at this. How perfect is that? That takes some nerve, that does, guys. Trust me. And a model this size, he's got to know what he's doing. Trust me. Isn't that a sight to see, guys? deserves a round of applause. First round of applause of the day so far. What do you think? That really does. Nerves are steel to do that with a machine this size and, and this much money as well. Wow, expensive machines. Surfaces, put it into a dive, very controlled, pull it out with the opposite angle with a, a rake of elevator just to bring the nose up. I would imagine there's only got another couple of minutes left of this flight. If that is maybe coming down for final leg, perhaps three minutes to go. Okay, wasn't far off. Oh, that's nice. Because there's such a massive open space here, of course, the wind will be changing on a regular basis. At the moment, it's running right to left. So uh, on the approach with a model this size, it's going to cause him some severe sort of uh, problems. And he's coming in now. Sights is slipping it in. It's a bit too high for his uh, for to land. Maybe he'll just cut the power and just drift it in. But he's trying to keep the wings as level as he possibly can with that. That losing uh, over there. The without the problem with potential tip stalling. That takes a huge amount of control and confidence to do that, ladies and gentlemen. That deserves a huge round of applause. Come on. Wonderful demo. Excellent. That does take some nerve to do that. It really does. Okay, he's coming in for his, uh, his final. So he's going to probably put full power on, do a little final wing tip, that's it, a little bit of a wave to the crowd. There you go, bleeding off as much of that airspeed as he can. So he's going to literally come straight to us and then throw the rudder over to bring the wheels in line down the strip. So let's see. How this works. This is a biplane very stable but they are susceptible to tip stalling if you don't get the airspeed just right. That's very good, very, very slow. Of course, that's what these, these machines are designed to do. So you're just going to throw the rudder in any second until he gets a little bit further on. Look at that. Oh, he's bringing it right to us as well. There you go, there's the rudder. Whoa, a little bit of a scrape on the port side tip there. Well done there for Steve Holland, everybody. 
So we're going to have a chat quickly with, uh, with Gav. Gav's flying the uh, fantastic Thunder Tiger. This is the uh, the G4, the Nitro. Running 30%, Gav? Are you running 30%? 25? So tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about Chaos RC. Give us your lift pitch. <laughs> we'll talk to you in a bit. So well done there. Another round of applause, please, to Steve Holland. Great demonstration to start the show. Thanks, Steve. Oh, 